Morning, friends. I was on my way to church and um, I decided to share um, a little revelation that I had with the Holy Spirit the other day. And um, as I was praying for someone that I have been praying for for quite a few years, actually, um, I had been kind of frustrated and and just disheartened because things haven't changed in so many years. And I was asking the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> why that is and at first I got this impression that the Lord doesn't see time the same way that we do but the second impression um, that, that I got from the Holy Spirit and this was about a family and a marriage that I prayed for <clears throat> that was filled with um, just brokenness and strife and and I said Lord why hasn't anything changed I've been praying for peace and love um, to just blanket over this family and restore this family for so long. And um, the Holy Spirit said, but they have to choose peace. So, yes, we can pray for love, we can pray for peace, we can pray for restoration for someone, but the Lord never changes. And He said that He gave us free will, <clears throat> and He will never go against our free will. So what he was saying is that you have to partner with the Lord. You have to choose healing. You have to choose restoration. You have to choose peace. You have to choose love. And so he's saying, now that you know that, you can target your prayers differently. And so what I gathered from that is that our prayers have to be bulletproof in the sense that they have a target like a bullseye and they have to just hit the market. So he was saying, pray differently. Pray that this person or these people choose peace. They choose love, that their heart is softened and I will act upon your prayers. But see, the thing of it is, is that he created us in his image and that means everything from the inside out. And so we have free will. And so we have to choose and partner with the Lord on those things. And then I kind of wanted to talk about what happened yesterday with the Trump assassination. As I was praying last night along the same lines of, of peace in our country and unity in our country. And the Holy Spirit was saying the same thing to me. And, and, and I was saying, why is our country so divided and the Lord said, pray that the people choose peace. They have to choose peace. They have to choose unity. They're too divided. So <clears throat> let's um, make our prayers really very, very targeted and very precise like a bullseye.